Hello, I'm Brian Levine with Chemical Solutions. At Chemical Solutions, we're dedicated to elemental impurity testing, trace elemental analysis, metals and mineral testing. Today's topic is relative standard deviation. RSD, as we refer to it here in the lab, relative standard deviation. If you'll think back to some of your algebra classes, taking it back a few years many in, in some of your cases, is the standard deviation from a pool of data over the average. Thus, the standard deviation relative to the average, or the relative standard deviation, RSD. I'll take you one step further back into your algebra classes, and that standard deviation is calculated by the sum of all those points of data, let's say you have five tests and you have a result of five of your tests minus the mean or the average divided by n minus one, the number of the number of points of data that you had in your sample. That is a standard deviation divided by the average. So that's how we actually get the calculation when we tell you what an RSD is. Now where is RSD applied? Well it's applied in many cases uh, in our lab. Um, but one, that's, one that typically comes up is with out-of-spec results. Let's say you have, we give you a result on something you've tested for uh, four elements. One of those elements comes out to be out-of-spec, and you ask us to do a retest. Um, what we use is a gauge of whether the process is in control or whether there's really something you should be looking at in your sample is RSD. So if we do, let's say, three um, replicate digestions of the material and test again, uh, for one of the elements that's out of, that's out of spec, we'll look at that relative standard deviation of those results. If it's under, and I'll, I'll qualify this in a bit, if it's under 25%, USP 233 will tell you that that, for elemental impurity testing, for multiple elements being tested at the same time, is an acceptable re relative standard deviation for that set of samples. So if it's within the 25%, it's generally considered that the process is within control and that those results that we gave you are valid. If it's outside of the 25%, that would indicate the opposite, that something was not, the process was not giving you a good value on that out-of-spec result, and that's on us. Uh, that's when we would not charge you for a retest, let's say. Relative standard deviation also uh, can vary uh, let's say the new USP 730 indicates that if you're doing a single element test, not multiple at the same time, then you would tighten that up a bit to 20%. If you're doing higher level uh, elements, you would look at you know, higher level as a percent in your product, you would want to tighten that up even more because there's a higher concentration of the material that you're testing. Um, also in validation work that we would do, uh, particularly when we're looking at precision in a validation, even tighten up that some more. But in those cases, we would ask you to contact us and we would take you through that process and we'd um, come to an agreeable amount for the, rel the allowed RSD. So that's it for today. That's your primer on RSD. As always, if you have any questions on this or any other topic relative to your testing, please feel free to contact Chemical Solutions. Thank you.